Welcome everybody to Built on Faith Homestead and today's tiny house talk. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> Uh, today, in our tiny house talk, we are going to talk about why we haven't done any videos for about a week now. Uh, to speak of, except for yesterday, I did a video yesterday. But, um, why we haven't done a video for about a week or so. I have been cleared to give that information out, and so uh, we'll give that out. And then we're going to talk about why you need to follow us on Rumble, not just YouTube. Correct? Yes. Correct. Hopefully YouTube doesn't take this video down for suggesting that. You never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, the whole reason why we haven't done a video in a while is my mom. Um, she has been uh, she's had some serious health issues for a while now, and she's um, without going into a lot of detail. Uh, the doctors can't really figure out what's wrong with her, or our local doctors could not, and so they recommended that she go to the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And so last week I was actually up in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, helping my mom up at the Mayo Clinic. And Melissa was here taking care of the kids and doing all of those things and taking care of the animals and trying to realistically do videos and take care of the kids by I yourself. I am sorry I didn't do a video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's not, that's not very realistic, right? And so uh, mom said it was okay that we shared that information. And so uh, please pray for my mama. They're still trying to figure out what's wrong with her. Uh, as far as her health stuff goes. And so remember her in prayer, if you would, for sure. And um, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. But that's why we haven't done a video in a while. All right. So I'm just going to say that we had a minor situation occur here at the house between siblings. <laughs> and I don't exactly know where I was at because I had to pause the video. And we had to take care of a kid that had fell off a slide. And talk to the other kid about exactly what happened. <laughs> Outside. Um... So, I don't know exactly where we were, but anyhow, uh, I, I had to go to Rochester, Minnesota uh, to help my mom, uh, which was, like, I'm not complaining at all, right? That's, that's what we do. That's what we're supposed to do in this life, is to take care of our loved ones, right? And um, she gave birth to me. At least I can do is go to Minnesota <laughs> with her, right? Uh, and Melissa was home uh, trying to take care of the kids and those kinds of things and was not able to do videos, um, along with homeschooling and taking care of animals and all. She had to do everybody's job, right? And not able to do videos. And so... Those videos you've seen of us making waters and stuff, that was me preparing for, for to be gone uh, for several days. And so I was trying to make it easier on my wife. That was all stuff I was going to do anyway. And um, knowing that we had to go up there or figuring out we were going to have to go up there um, made me put that on the front burner instead of the back burner so that it was easier on Melissa having to take care of the animals, right? I appreciate it. Yeah, anytime, <laughs> anytime. So anyhow, that's why we haven't done videos in a while. Now... If you are a subscriber to this channel, um, and even if you're not, so if this is the first video you're watching and you like the content that you see on our channel, um, I would encourage you uh, to subscribe to our channel on Rumble, right? Because while I was in Minnesota, I got a nice email from YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so YouTube uh, took down one of our videos, um, and when I read the email, it was for medical misinformation. Um, I'm going to show you a picture of that video right here. It is still on Rumble. So, uh, go. I encourage you to go to Rumble and watch that video for yourself. And um, you, you decide for yourself uh, what was medically misleading about that video. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, because the information that I shared was shared to me. Um, I'll just be honest with you. I was in an emergency room with my mom. And she ended up testing positive for COVID. It's not why we went. We went for other issues. And they tested her for COVID. She tested positive. And the information that I shared was the, the information the doctor shared with us for her. Mm -hmm. Now, um, that whole video that I made was saying that, hey, we probably, YouTube should just let creators make content and let us decide what's true and what's not. Seems pretty simple. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Seems pretty simple to me. This video may not last long. I don't know. But um, here's the deal with YouTube. Um, with that email of them taking my video down, our video down, 
they said that um, this was a warning and they took my video down. Um, the next one will be a strike and basically you get three strikes and you're out. Yeah. And you're not allowed to create content no more. On top of that, um, the content that, um, or if they if they give you a strike, then you're not allowed to make content for like a week. Which I'm kind of like, we've made videos before that are a lot more controversial than that. Sure. <laughs> Sure, sure, sure. You just can't threaten the, the narrative nationwide. Uh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anywho, can't tell we're a little bit passionate about this and we're trying not to um, blow a top, right? <laughs> um, I'm going to adjust the camera here just a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. And so, um, that is the whole reason why we made, I, I, I we have made the Rumble channel. Was go to your Google Play Store or uh, your iPhone app store and type in Rumble. Yeah, load up. Or just go to the internet search and, and type but in Rumble. But it's not built on Faith Homestead on Correct. Rumble. It is leaving Egypt. And right. you can put that right here. Yes. And all of that on Leaving Egypt, um, that's all of our videos. That's my Bible study videos I do on Leaving Egypt on our YouTube channel. And it's our homesteading videos on Built on Faith Homestead. It's both of those combined. And so, um, you'll see some duplicates and some, some of that kind of stuff on there. Um, I know that Rumble sometimes isn't the best operating um, device to, to watch things on. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a pain. However, um, I know that the videos that we make, the content that we make, is controversial. I also know that on YouTube, I can't make videos um, showing us like Butcher Rabbits. Uh, or even like when we go deer hunting, if I videotape us deer hunting, I can't show like like killing a deer on YouTube. They'll demonetize us for that. Oh, really? Really. And so um, I may in the future, I, I've been thinking about it. I haven't talked to Melissa about this first time she's hearing it, right? But I have been thinking about maybe doing some Rumble specific videos as well um, about like butchering animals and those kinds of things and only uploading uploading them to Rumble. So if you if you subscribe to our Rumble channel... Uh, you will have content potentially on there that, that's not going to be on YouTube. Um, so, uh, we would really like to encourage you guys uh, to go ahead and, and look us up on Rumble, subscribe to our channel on there, uh, hit the Rumbles, hit the notifications, and all those kinds of things, yeah. because um, there is um, a high, 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 high potential that YouTube will eventually kick us off of here. Because here's the truth of the matter. like I'm not going to stop spreading the truth. Yeah. Right. I already don't make money off YouTube. Right. <laughs> I'm not gonna miss that money, uh, and so like I, I'm not too worried about that. But what I am frustrated about is just trying to spread uh, information, and that information, whether it's true, whether it's not, that information being blocked to such a degree that like people can't can't study it for themselves and go, I'm gonna look into this and see if it's true or not. That blows my mind. Absolutely blows my mind. Insane. Frustrates me. I'm trying not to get mad. But anyway. <laughs> any hooligans. Any hooligans. <laughs> so, uh, once again, if you do, do give us a follow on Rumble, I'm just going to go ahead and say, like, there'll probably be, there's going to be some Rumble-specific videos that we'll make about butchering animals and those kinds of things. No. Right, that we can't show on YouTube because we won't be following the community guidelines at that point. And we're not the only creators that suffer with this. If you watch, um, if you've ever watched like Justin Rhodes, uh, I've heard some of his videos that he has made basically complaining about the idea that like he can't show how to butcher a chicken on there, right? And people that watch his videos, a lot of them will want to know like how do you butcher a chicken? How do you butcher a rabbit? And he can't show that. He can't show butchering cattle uh, or butchering a hog or something like that. You can't really show the what it really takes to do those kinds of things right yeah. um on there and so um it is frustrating to have to walk that walk uh that little dance to do that dance to constantly and, and we do it all the time here even on our videos it is as powerful or as strongly as i am about like we need to just tell it like it is and roll on i do understand that like in order for our videos to be out there we have to we have to dance the dance a little bit and try to uh, find ways to word things to go ahead and still say things, but say them in such a way that it doesn't get hit by YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. But that is so frustrating and exhausting for me. I'm not a fluff guy, right? I'm just like straight and to the point. Let's get it over with. And 
it just blows my mind that we have to dance around that, especially knowing the content that is out there on YouTube that is way more harmful to society than like, hey, there may be some alternative things a person can do for their health, right? Mm -hmm. That it, It's very frustrating to me uh, that there is some purely evil content that is created and monetized and people's making all kinds of money off of it, uh, yet it seems to be perfectly okay. Yeah. Um, hopefully you guys watched yesterday's video. Yesterday's video was about understanding that everybody's situation is different and you don't have to be like what you see on social media. And part of creating that video was addressing some of today's stuff, right, that we wanted to address is you don't always, on YouTube especially, you're not always going to see all of the detail because you're not allowed to see all of the detail in some videos, right, because they get took down. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to like get mad about this whole thing, but like we got like 69 <laughs> subscribers and we've gotten several subscribers the past week. We have. Thank you guys. Thank you for guys. subscribing. <laughs> Turns out we get more subscribers by we not get creating more subscribers <laughs> the week we don't do videos than when we do. <laughs> Apparently, you guys like us more when we shut up. That's <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, um. We want to touch a little bit more on that today, right? Um, once again, like we said a while ago, I had to pause this video. The kids are playing outside, Luella and Leah, and they got a swing set and stuff, and they're, they always they play outside a lot, and they do really good. Um, we're hit enough back, we're far enough back, and the girls are big enough that it's like, listen, as long as you stay right here at the swing set, we got windows right here, we can listen to you. Um, go play, right? Um, but a uh, while ago, one of them, Leah fell off of the slide. And we wasn't sure exactly how high up she was on the, it's not very, it's like a three foot tall slide, right? It's not like it's, it's not, when I was a kid, we had like two story slides at the, at the playground, right? Like it's not one of those, right? Um, but uh, we had to check on it. That, that is an, a prime example for us of how like our situation may be different than some that create content on YouTube, right? Is we, we've got little bitty kids running around mm -hmm. uh, that makes it difficult sometimes to create content. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then Melissa, like homeschooling, right, makes it sometimes difficult to create content just because you have to focus your efforts on homeschooling. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't apply. And also, I would say, like, financial situations, right? So, and I've addressed it some before in previous videos, but some of the stuff I've seen on YouTube that I've seen people do, I'm like, man, that would be great, but that's going to cost, like, five grand, and we don't have you know, five grand to spend on that kind of stuff. And chances are you probably don't either watching this video, right? Yeah. Um, and, and so I just don't want people to be discouraged whenever they're not able to do the things that maybe they're watching on social media. Yeah, that's hard. It is. Really hard sometimes. Because you want to do those kinds of things. Yeah. Right? Like, I want to be in the middle of a whole bunch of land on solar power and completely off-grid except for the internet. Like, that's the reason why I... Like, I still get on Justin and I's page sometimes on, like, Facebook or whatever. Yeah. Um, but my personal, because it's through Justin's, um... Facebook. Facebook. Yes. That we share. But my personal one that I used to have forever, um, I got rid of it just because I couldn't... I got tired of seeing what everybody else not that I got tired of seeing what everybody else was doing but um, Satan was using that um, you know how he'll do like your life isn't good enough your life or isn't you're not good. getting to go do those fun things like other people so um, you just have a bad life and that's not true you know yeah. um, We've done another video on perspective, and that kind of can go along with that, too. Um, flies. flies. Good grief. We, we got a fly in particular. It's <laughs> buzzing us like crazy. Um, that makes it very hard. And so that's actually a reason why I got rid of my Facebook. Yeah. So... And I addressed it some of yesterday's videos. People like, I'm going to say my age and younger. And when I say my age, if you're wondering how old I am, I'm fixing to be 34? 33. 33. Whew, I had myself a year older than when I am. I'm fixing to be 33. And so 
social media has been huge in people my age and, and younger for sure life, right? Like you've had it most of your life around mm-hmm. you. And I think social media can be a great tool. But as long as you treat it like a tool. Because that's so tiring. Think about that. If you've had Facebook your whole life, you are constantly, unknowingly comparing your life like to other people's life. You can be. Yeah. Life. I you mean, not be. everybody. I get that. Right. But, but people who are susceptible and, you know, to feeling that way anyway. Yeah. Or like just weak in that area. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, that could be a stumbling block for people. It can be, right? It can be. Yeah. And it is, um, if it, if it has like a grip on you, you need to get off oh, of yeah. it. Oh yeah. Which sounds funny as people that's making content on social media, but I mean it, right? But if, seriously, if, if you're better problem, off, like just go off, you know, yeah. with it. Like even though I still share Justin and I's Facebook, I don't hardly, I don't hardly get on there that much. No. Like at all. I used to, that would be the first thing I do when I wake up and before I go to bed and throughout sure. the day. And it just consumes you, I think. It can. It absolutely can. And um, if you look at our Facebook page, most of what you're going to see is these videos, right? These videos <laughs> or like church sharing events. if like revivals are around or church events and yeah. stuff. Other than that, we don't really no, I'm not, do anything else. I'm not a social media guru. <laughs> I have some like... Uh, my mother-in-law, nice. Yeah. Um, craft page or whatever, but even that we don't use much anymore. It um, it is something though that like social media can be very dangerous, and most of you are aware of that. But also, a lot of people don't ever do anything about it. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's one thing to recognize something; it's something else entirely to actually do mm-hmm. something about it. I want you to think about this, right? Um, you get these little deals right on YouTube where, or on Facebook where like you've been on social media for, you've been on Facebook for, I don't know, like 10 years. Yeah. Right? Think about that for a minute. For 10 years, probably more than likely you have checked that page at least once a day. Yeah. That's crazy. For 10 years. Yeah. Right. Uh, that is insane when you think about the amount of time you've probably spent I'm not going to say wasted because there's some good stuff. It's, it's, there is some good stuff. I'm not going to say it's 100% wasted by any stretch, right? I read something today that somebody shared that I, I, I talked with my wife about. I was like, man, that's really, really good, right? Um, or I thought it was good. And, and a timely thing that somebody shared and um, something that really struck home with me. And, and that's great. Or you hear about revivals. Or, you, you know, you see pictures of, you know, somebody that you went to high school with and, and their kids. And it just blesses you to see to see them growing as a family yeah, sure. or, or whatever, right? Like there's some good, I'm not saying it's all bad, but once again, remember that, that it's a tool. It's, it's, it's a, it's just a socket set, right? right? You can't use it for your whole life. Yeah. You still have a life to live and yeah. Don't let it consume you. No. Right. Don't let anything ever consume you other than the Holy Spirit, right? <laughs> other than God himself. Um, because everything else will eat you alive. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We haven't made content in a while. Please follow us on Rumble. And please don't let social media consume your life. Go live life. Don't just watch videos about being more independent. Go do it. Just because you live life different than Joe next door or whatever. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's wrong or the way you're doing it's bad. or Yeah. <laughs> you know. We live in a shed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> And you want to know something crazy? We're super happy about it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, <laughs> super happy about it. Is, is, is there things that's frustrating? Sure, there you is. Know, but that's with everything. One day, Luella, and I was thinking it before she ever said it. Luella said, "Mom," she said, "Why don't we?" She's five. She said, "Why don't we? Why don't we call it the tiny home or the tiny house?" Because it's not our tiny house. It's our home. It's just our home. And I said, you're right. It is our home. Yeah. And it's great. <laughs> yeah, we love it. We love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. One of the things I love about it is this morning it was a little bit cool. We cooked breakfast in here, warmed the house right up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but we do. We, we love living. It, it. One of the things in this video is, I know we're kind of rambling on, but... One of the things that I have really recognized in the last few years of my life is 
there is literally sacrifices for everything. Mm -hmm. For everything, right? So if you want to live in a tiny house like this, you have to sacrifice room and you have to understand that things are going to be tight and, and how to make them work and get rid of stuff and all that kind of stuff, right? If you want a bigger house, um, you're going to have to sacrifice time for cleaning and maintenance and taking care of that bigger house in a bigger way than something smaller than this and heating and cooling and, and all, right? Like everything, every decision you make in life has what I will call sacrifice associated with that. And you just have to learn what sacrifices you're willing to make, right? To make those things work the way you need them to. Whether somebody down the street's doing it the same way you are or not doesn't really matter, or somebody on social media, which is very prevalent in today's time and age, right? Yeah. Is um, whether or not they're living their life differently than you doesn't really matter, right? As long as you're living your life for the Lord and yeah. making uh, the life that the Lord wants for you, um, then then you're good, right? Yeah. Good to go. Guys, we appreciate you guys watching very, very much. Once again, please, please, please follow us on Rumble. Um, if the way you get notified by our videos is on Facebook, um, probably after this video, I think I'll probably start sharing our Rumble videos to Facebook rather than our YouTube videos uh, most of the time. I might do a few YouTube videos sprinkled in there, but try to get our Rumble page out there where more people are seeing it. Um, so that maybe they'll go look at it on Rumble and start getting accustomed to going to Rumble to watch our videos because YouTube's going to kick us off one of these days. Probably. More than likely. Yep. All right, guys. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. See ya.